Hi everyone, weather bug meteorologist Susie Martin here. We have been tracking springtime weather finally in the upper Midwest. As we take a look at this webcam coming out of St. Paul and the Twin Cities, you can actually see thunderstorms off in the distance that managed to occur for Sunday night. And some more spring weather will be expected for the Midwest as storms are imminent. But unfortunately, also comes a threat for some stronger rumbles. We also have the flooding concerns still along the Mississippi into the upper Midwest, as well as the southern warmth. How about busting records in the southwest? That will be a possibility today. Now, let's take a look at the severe threat. It does seem to be targeting parts of the Midwest from Madison, Wisconsin, down towards the Quad Cities and into northern Missouri. We do have a stalled front that is looking to be sparking up thunderstorms and what we call a cutoff low, an area of low pressure just stuck in the central part of the country. We'll keep an active pattern in place in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So that will result in an ongoing threat for thunderstorms. Hail and damaging winds cannot be ruled out even for tomorrow, including southern Wisconsin, extending all the way down into parts of Kansas. So that's where we do have some troubling weather. We also have an ongoing risk of rain and thunder across the east. Not quite as intense of a storm situation, though, in Georgia, where we were tracking some stronger storms. And we will be still seeing an ongoing snow threat for the Pacific Northwest and the Cascades and into the Intercontinental Divide. Well, we do have the snow showers maintaining at above 3,500 feet, but nevertheless, kind of a blast of winter for that part of the country. Uh, flooding concerns still continuing in the Red River Valley. We've got the rising river at major flood stage in the Red River, specifically in the Mississippi Valley, due to heavy rainfall. Flood warnings still extending up and down the river into the Illinois region as well. Now, our temperatures are another big topic across the country. Many areas feeling the warmth, but here's a look at where we do have the potential for record highs. As we do have triple digits still from Las Vegas into areas like Phoenix, we'll be feeling the warmth. Here's a look at tonight's forecast, and we leave you with our high temperatures tomorrow across the country. Thanks for watching.